the soothing sounds of suicide band the full name of the band was actually a mouthful revolutionary suicide mechanized regiment band the band was also known to have had in its ranks sarah cholaba a go-go dancer who would go on to be the fifth of Idi Amin's six wives. This was February of 1974, a little over a year before Amin took Cholaba's hand in marriage. The Uganda boxing team had just returned from the Commonwealth Games in Christchurch, New Zealand, with a total haul of six medals. A former heavyweight boxing champion, Amin was all too eager to share notes with the boxers who included gold medalists Ayub Kalule and Mohamed Muruli. But I wanted to tell the boxers that the only chance to defeat the referee who are against you or against the country is to win by knockout. This is the only thing. And that this is the most important. It was not just boxing that Amin was into. He was also an accomplished rugby player. I used to run 9.8 seconds, 100 yards. This is with my speed, with my weight of, of getting the ball. And when you tackle me, you can harm yourself. I think you should know this. Amin's eight-year reign from 1971 to 1979 might be best remembered for its violence. But there were many success stories in sports, with John Akibua's gold medal at the Munich Olympic Games setting the tone in 1972. Fueled by a sports crazed president, there was nothing held back in regards to facilitating and rewarding athletes. Former All-Africa Games gold medalist and current KCCA boxing club manager Vicky Biarugaba fondly recalls how Amin supported the Bombers when the 1974 World Amateur Boxing Championships ran its course in Cuba. He just surprised us. Came in, we were training. Of course, as the head of state, we stopped. Uh, he did some shadow boxing and punching the bag, and you know, asking us to do some uh, exercises with him. Then after that, he declared. He says, "Okay, uh, the office of the president will give, will take care of the team's allowances on top of whatever." the federation or the association is giving you. Amin was always on hand to physically motivate athletes. This took some of the athletes by surprise. Like uh, in 1974 when there was all African championships in Kampala here in the oval stadium, in the oval ground of cricket, he was the guest of honor but still he entered the ring and did boxing physically with the, with the national coach. Under Amin's reign, all sports was afforded equal status. It also greatly helped that Amin was easily approachable. There was no red tape whenever sports bodies sought audience with the president. This doesn't mean that the sports story weaved under Amin was without fault. Some mistakes made even though some weren't directly his calls. Take the banning of Express Football Club by Kano Abdul Nasur that Salongo Gerard Kalibala vividly recalls. Express in a Simba. Niva Samba. Uganda Amin, however, never did himself any favors when he pulled the boxing team out of an international boxing championship because Biarugaba's defeat of an Israeli had provided some sort of gratification after Israel's raid on Entebbe in 1976. After I had uh, beaten the Israelite in the quarterfinals, I beat the Israelite. Unfortunately, again, the president got overexcited and said, OK, since you have beaten an Israelite now, boxing, if we have finished now, we have won, come back. We can only speculate how far Uganda would be in sports if only Idi Amin had ruled longer, or if the presidents after him had the same passion for the field. If Amin was still around, other factors held constant, then maybe 
by now would be a superpower in, in sports. Yali ya teka sente mezanyo. Si inga vilo vino. Mucho mtu wa mara kora chirungi. Kumopiro wako mozanyo. Tumuaniriza. Na chila buze njine zari inga zichika. Finga tetumanyi vya kusonda sente. Iti chila buwe genda kuchika. Sente za government. Felix Manyindo, NTV Sport.